<laughs> Sorry, I'm man spreading. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Like, oh, is that what the, there was another name for that, wasn't it? The people on the, the subways? No, that's what it was, man spreading. Man spreading, yeah. People would sit there and throw water on them. And, oh, that's a, that's a quick ass beating. <clears throat> Alright, good morning. Uh, my name is Steven and I am one of the co-founders of Wackadoo Brewing. And this is Saturday, March or May something. Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but uh, we wanted to do this video before we started bottling today to uh, kind of introduce you guys to who we are, what we're doing. Uh, we already put out a few videos and then I realized, hey, we never really talked about ourselves. So. I'm Steve, and I'm technically the head brewer, even though we're all brewing and we're all making stuff. Hi, I'm Leanna. It's May 22nd today, 2020. Thank you. And um, we're here doing our first video of who we are. So I'm going to be kind of gearing towards the lighter beers, um, bringing in some tastes and flavors, hopefully for the ladies to enjoy, as well as the men if they want something on the lighter side. Hipsters. <laughs> I'm Sean. It's Saturday morning, so I'm not wearing pants. I'm in charge of the grunt work and whatever they tell me to do. Yeah. And he drinks a lot of beer, so that helps. Yeah. I'm a connoisseur. Especially when we need empty bottles. Right. We need bottles empty. <laughs> oh my empty. goodness. So, yeah, we've been having these problems the last couple of weeks. Uh, try to keep up with, we're bottling the beers, but we're running out of bottles. So we've been recycling bottles. Um, you know, we peel off the labels. I did some videos on that where we clean up the bottles, we sanitize them and whatnot. But like literally it's just us drinking. So we're trying, I mean, we're looking at like 52 bottles every week. We have to have four bottling. Plus, you know, we accidentally get some twist offs. We accidentally get some bottles that got, you know, like the embroidery on them and we gotta get, we can't use those bottles. So we have to use just clear plain bottles. So we've actually been drinking a lot more than that. And we asked for help from people, and everybody said that it was a great idea, and they'd love to help us, and then nobody's given us any bottles in like three weeks. So, yeah, Shocker. surprise. Um, no, that's this. Right. Oh. Ah. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, <clears throat> this is why I, on the rating thing under YouTube, I have to put not for children. So, Indeed. Uh, introduction about the company. Uh, we called it Wackadoo Brewing because you know, we're all crazy and nuts, and we just... We do lots of weird stuff, uh, like starting a brewery, uh, you know, during a coronavirus outbreak where nobody's allowed to leave, and you know, we just one day we're like, this is what we're gonna do. We've been trying for a while to figure out what we wanted to do. This is what we want to do because we love beer, we love doing stuff like this. So, this is Wackadoo Brewing. Uh, so plus I say Wackadoo all the time. Plus she says Wackadoo all the time. So it kind of made that real easy. We had a list of like 25, 30 names and we were like, no, this, this is what we want. This is it. Yeah. Uh, so we want to talk about the beers we've done so far that we've got put out the videos for. Uh, Shot in the Pale was the very first one. It was a, an IPA, <clears throat> but it was a little lighter. So that's why I called it, you know, the Shot in the Pale, like Shot in the Dark. It's, it was our first try at anything. And this is it right here. This will be the very first bottle we've ever opened of it, and uh, we're going to go through and taste it and test it this morning, and then later on tonight, we're actually doing a taste testing party. All the beer's free. We can't charge anybody. We wouldn't charge anybody anyways because it's just a taste test because we want people's honest answers on how they think the beer turned out so we know we're going in the right direction or what we need to change or work on. Uh, the second beer we did was the one Sean brewed. Uh, you want to tell them about your beer? Uh, it's a it's a honey brown ale. We call it the Cuddle Bear Ale. Uh, it's our first beer that we actually put in a keg. We've got a sixtal downstairs. Uh, we put a couple bottles back, but then we just filled it. We're setting aside uh, six beers from every batch we do because we want to see how it ages over time. Because some beers are great right out the tap, but then after a couple of weeks they start to turn. Uh, beers that sit on the shelf for more than a couple of months, you know, you, you drink them and you're like, that's why some of them like Budweiser is a huge one that did that uh, about the born on date or freshest by date, things like that. Because over time, some beers don't age very well, some of them skunk, some of them will go back six out in the sun, you know, for whatever reason, well, the sunlight will skunk any beer. Uh, but so that's one reason why we want to be able to test one every month after we've produced it and drank it, because you drink it for at least a couple of weeks. So we set aside one, so one every month, uh, we drink it, see how it lasts, and if it's one that can survive over time or not, that tells us how long it'll be able to be good for us, so we can tell people, our customers, 
hey, if this has been on the shelf more than a month or two, you know, we'll buy it back. It's going to be crap. So we wanted to know how long it'll go for. Well, and that's part of the point of having the, the taste cards because when we taste in a month or two months exactly. or three months, yeah. we can have a tracking history of when we think it tasted the best. Exactly. Uh, so some beers, they take longer to mature than others. And since we're still young and we're learning this as we go as well, we want to know what beers age better than others. Uh, next thing is uh, the beer that we're doing uh, tomorrow. Every week we're brewing a beer, and so we're bottling a beer. We're trying to keep it on a steady rotation, so we're constantly, every single week, making a new beer. Even if it's a small batch, like the 5-gallon, 10-gallon, we want to make sure we're constantly producing some kind of beer. So there's no time delay in between us having another beer. Uh, the next one we're doing is tomorrow, and that'll be your beer. So that's going to be a Pineapple Bliss, which is our first all-wheat mash, correct? All, all grain. All grain. No okay. extracts. No extracts, none of that. We went and um, picked out the grains and, according to the recipe and ground them up. Um, the video is on YouTube already for that, correct? Yeah, where we went down to fermentation. Yes, yeah. and so we have a big bag waiting because we didn't have enough bottles to bottle. Um, again, <laughs> we need bottles. Um, but that's going to be a lighter fruit-based ale, um, and it, we will be brewing that tomorrow, and today we're actually canning your peanut butter porter. Yeah, uh, the peanut butter porter that we did a couple weeks ago is what we're going to bottle right after we get done making this video. I'll just put up some pictures and whatnot. I probably won't do a video for the bottling of that because it's not overly exciting, and we already did one video with the bottling. Maybe we'll, every now and then we'll throw in a video of us bottling the beers, but you know, once you've seen somebody bottling beer, you want to keep watching, but I don't want to put them all up on YouTube for people to be like, okay, he's bottling, he's bottling, he's bottling. That's not as much fun. Uh, and we're trying to give you guys content. We're not very good at this. We're bottling still new montage. At this. Right? Bottling okay. montage. Maybe we do like a fast forward over like a year of bottling. Like what they do in the videos where everybody stands in front of the mirror, except we're bottling. Yeah. <laughs> Is that, uh, hey there, Delilah. You know, I don't want to get in trouble for mar copywriting. Yeah. I don't sing very well. But, um, all right, uh, next thing we want to do is uh, two weeks from now, we're going to be doing a hard seltzer because, like, that's the new hip thing that everybody's been doing over the last year. Even Budweiser got in it and bought out a company for a billion dollars. Uh, damn. Yeah. So that's why they've got hard seltzers now as well. So we're going to make one just to give it a shot as well. You know, everybody likes a foo foo drink every now and then. Uh, so we're going to let you, the viewers, all, I think we have 10 subscribers so far, let you guys vote on it, uh, over the next week, next Saturday, I will close down the, uh, voting and that will be, you know, we'll decide that gives me one day to go out and get the fruit for whatever we're, flavor we're making. So you have five choices that we came down to because YouTube only lets you pick five votes. So sorry guys, these are the five we came down to, and now the five, you guys all get to decide on which one of those five is the one we're going to make. Uh, do us a favor and actually vote. I, I, I know a lot of people just don't bother, but I please. don't want Sean's pick, so you have to vote. Come on. Right? We <laughs> need people to vote. We need people <laughs> on there actually interacting with us, please. Because uh, if I do all the talking, nobody's ever going to enjoy life. <laughs> all right, so five choices. First one is apple fritter. Second one is lemon lime. Third one is Laffy Taffy. We actually make our own uh, like Laffy Taffy candy. We call it crap because I mean, just it's amazing. So we're gonna break it up and actually use that in the hard seltzer. Four is the mango. Five is blackberry because everybody drinks blackberry hard seltzer. And it's not just foofy drinks. <laughs> <laughs> so those are your five choices. Don't worry, we'll amp up the the ABV on them so you'll actually get something out of it. So those are your five choices. They'll be up on the screen. I don't know where to point because I don't know where it's actually going to show up on the screen yet. Yeah, it'll be it'll be over here. So I, I, I watch the most YouTube. So <laughs> I'll, here, to uh, gesturing to the links Sean and Big stuff. Sean Big Van of White. Right. Tell it good nights. I don't, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> well, you're a little too white not to be. Right. Uh, so without further ado, this is our very first one ever from the bottle. And the cool thing he's using is a Ooh. man card. Yeah, by the way, she bought me this. It's amazing. It says man card and it's a beer bottle opener. And we will be making some of those for Wackadoo Brewing. Does it uh, smell good? Can you smell it right off there? Mm. Ooh, that does smell good. Like right off the bottle. Ooh. And made... I loved it because I went, 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know if you could hear it, but it actually, you know, you could hear the sound come off. Success. Saw a little bit of the, the vapors coming off of there, which is amazing. And, uh, and this so. is tough because I'm not a beer drinker, but we'll see. Especially hoppy IPAs. A, but we've got to have a nice hoppy IPA. Smell to oh, it. that's beautiful. Yeah. Look at the head retention on that. Uh, nice vapors. Nice. I know we got to get actual beer glasses. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We're, we're young. I'll and have young. to look them up. I like that color. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's and it's bubbling. It, it's just awesome. How exciting. Really nice. But yeah, no, you can you can smell it. The aromas are, are very distinct and very strong. Uh, I still yeah. smell citrus in it. Would you call that amber or gold? That's what I'm working on because... I think it's too dark to be golden. Yeah, yeah. I, th I, I think amber. So it, it, it's the color of honey. This is the Wackadoo up. Brewing taste testing scorecard that we made ourselves. Oh. Wow, that's uh, nice. So it goes through the color, the aroma, the taste, uh, the clarity, our comments, and... Would you drink it again? Would you recommend it to a friend? So, uh, just right here, the color. Uh, that is, uh, I think it's more amber than golden. I would say yeah, so. Yeah, amber. Okay. So we have it's that. definitely not, it's not red enough for copper. Right now. Yeah. And the aromas are just. Yeah, just. Oh, Hoppy. that's amazing. Hoppy. Uh, I got the fruity out of that as well. I got... Uh, no. oh, okay, this is going to sound odd. Uh -huh. Like, I'm picking up the sourness, but not in a bad way. Yeah, yeah. Like, a know. good kind of sour. Yeah, not well, that, like, you know, the, tar the tart is... The, the, the tart, something's gone bad, it's... Yeah, maybe yeah. tangy instead mm. of sour. Yeah. Maybe there we go, there we go. What struck me when I first picked it up was, and I did a little swirl, mm. it just, I smell alfalfa in there. And maybe that's so just because much. I did so much alfalfa with the horses. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the grain, yeah. and but that's I just what you associate it, it with. Yeah, it connects yeah. And it's it. not strong on the grains. It's not like, you know, you have got grains in your hand. It's... Okay, close oh, your eyes and smell. It's so fruity. It's, it's amazing. And it's very fruit forward mm. when you yes, close your eyes. Very fruit forward. Even though there's like no fruit. Mm. <laughs> no, but the hops have that citrus base in it. Yeah. Remember? Mm. Well, it, it tastes like mango. Oh my god, it's it amazing. does. amazing, yeah. That's it, weird. So this is our first one. Yeah, um, definitely bitter. Hoppy. Yeah, but it's not it's not overly bitter. No, nice. but there is a bit. And at the end, there's like a tingle, and I can't quite place that. Hmm. I still say it's tangy. It's not Fruity, quite citrus. Tangy. Yeah, it's not citrusy, but like, like it, the bubbles at the end, like bubble on your tongue. This is fantastic. If this was all I had to drink, yes, I would drink it. But I'm not a beer drinker. So you want me to put yes or no? <laughs> like, yes well, and no. Like, I don't know. If we went to a bar and this was on tap, you know... It, if you came you over to somebody's house and they had this, would you be like, sure, I'll take one, or I think I'll stick with water? <laughs> no, I'd take this. Yeah, exactly. yeah definitely. I might so, only have one I would and then have water, but yes. Now, that's as not far a as bad IPA. clarity goes, I, I don't can't see, see through it, but I mean, you know, but it's, it's not, not clear. it's not grimy. Yeah, no, but the, really, I, I, we did a great job of cleaning these. Like, the, the beer came out. There's not a there. I don't see sediment at the bottom. Is that I don't see. Yeah, okay, even the bottle. Cool. You don't really see anything in there, do you? There's a little bit on the bottom. If you hold it up to the light like that, you can see. Ah, okay. Down. So there is a little bit of sediment, but in the glass, yeah, it's fine. It's I'd say it's just hazy. I wouldn't call it cloudy, but that's just me. And it's not milky. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if you folks at home can see. But like, there's nothing swimming in there. And look, I've still got head retention on this. This is amazing. Look, I know, mine as well. Yeah, Maybe we just I poured yours very gently. Yeah. Okay. I mean, look, so what I yeah, that's too good. Thick. What I said in the comments was fruit forward, mango flavor reminds me of a little alfalfa. It is fantastic. And it, it's amazing the mango flavor we, with no fruit in this. Uh, so there was one of the uh, there was one of those things the things of mosaics. Hops. I think yeah, it had the mosaic. Had, right. had kind of that fruity citrus. When you fiber. guys put it in the in the Oh, that's hop, right. This one had that. the dry hopping at the end, right? Yeah. 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 So yeah, it th did. that's exactly what that is. When they said you get that without the the 
the sour. So you don't get a lot of IBUs out of this, but you get those fruit flavors because of the dry hopping we did. Yeah, it's not nearly as bitter as some of the IPAs I've had. Some just like, whew, so, I can't drink this. Yeah, I'm like, do we, a, do, do, we, do we have to give it to other people? Do we have <laughs> no. to? No. <laughs> no. I mean, but we did, I mean, we did fill up. Well, like 45 bottles plus Not a, an alcoholic. Plus a giant tequila bottle. Because we ran out meetings. Yeah, right? We actually ran out of bottles making this because we didn't realize how many bottles it would fill. And we actually took an empty tequila, the one of the 1800 bottles, and filled it. The He's going to go. Watermelon, that was yeah, disgusting. Yeah, the watermelon Ooh. tequila, which is horrible. We love to taste. We, believe me, we're, we're about as close to alcoholic as you can get without having a problem. <laughs> So we drink a lot of liquor too. We're functioning alcoholics. Yeah. I believe that's the correct term. Like, yeah, so see on the side on that when you lift it up, <laughs> you there can is see some, a little yes. bit of it. Yeah, but that was yeah. towards the end of the. That pot was the bottom too. of the pot. Yeah, yeah, this was the bottom. I think yeah. you can't show, show them. them. It's, it's over there. Yeah. Well, I don't know if there's going to be enough light to shine through the bottle on the yeah, camera. Yeah, but you can see it here yeah. really well. Oh yeah, yeah. You flip yeah, it upside down. That was the crap we pulled out of the bottle. Yeah, this is. It'll settle again. So you show them the bottle. Like set the bottle thought... down there. No, no, you I pulled it up like and you're like, oh, like, look, see, this is the bottle we're talking about. We <laughs> filled it. This is the bottom of our uh, the fermentation. Okay, so th that's why it's got crap in the bottom of it because the first time we did this, we didn't know how to pump pump it out properly without getting all the crap at the sediment at the bottom of it. So that's why you got well, this. Well, you guys didn't filter through. No, we didn't when filter. You put it yeah, in, correct. Yeah, which like, we do now. We, we've gotten a lot better at that. But the first batch, we had no idea what we were doing. But this Full is, disclosure, by the time I filled this one up, I was ready to be done. Yeah. I was like, this, we were this, scrambling it was a little bottles. frustrating yeah, running we, out of bottles. And, and, and we were, it was pouring very slow because we didn't know how the, the little thing worked in the bottom of the bottle. So it took like five minutes to fill our first bottle. I'm so, super yeah. pleased that didn't leak. Yeah, it didn't leak. Yeah. It's still it sealed. Have. We didn't know. We weren't sure if that we, with it shut, if it would actually seal and allow it to carbonate. But it turned out fine. So this is what we're going to drink tonight. Uh, plus, we got like five more bottles. I didn't want to drink them all by ourselves, but these ones are for us. These are fantastic. Bah, bah, bah. The tasters who come tonight, we got a bottle for everybody. You know, so crack the bottle. Everybody gets a fresh taste instead of like us doing out of a corny keg. Everybody gets a little spritz. No, everybody's going to get a bottle tonight because they are our VIPs. First taste testing for Wackadoo Brew. And I'm pretty sure I've, I've talked. Hey, Cheers, hey, guys. Hey. Now that Sean's drank his, here. Oh, yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> Gross. Yum. That's fantastic. That's Struzia, bitches. I am so <laughs> impressed at our yep. first beer. Yes, that Thanks is. Thanks for joining us today. And right. we'll see you again next time. Yay. Oh Very good. Well, that went quite nicely. You want to push the shoulder Yes. Down. I think so. <laughs> Jesus.